See, God, there's nothing wrong with the nation. It's just the people. See what I'm saying? The nation is all wise. It's everything right and exact. It's just people that ain't right and exact. Exactly. So at the end of the day, what I'm talking about is for the babies because they the greatest and we can't leave this responsibility to them. Just like we always say, the show and prove is for the babies. And it's almost like we want to put all the weight on the babies, man. The weight ain't supposed to be on them. The weight is on us. We do it for them so that they got less to do. We don't. So if we don't never set a foundation for this culture, God, we don't create no cultural customs, then what is our children got to look forward to, God? This is why I created an honor day calendar, God. So when our children go to school, right? When my Listen, man, when my sons and daughters go to school, they be like, oh, February 22nd. You know what I'm saying? That was the father's physical. All the other kids be like, father's physical? What's the father's physical? But my kids is excited. They talk about the father's physical, what they did, how lovely it was. Now they, my children are attracting power. You see what I'm saying? They're attracting the other kids. So our children teach children, God. You understand what I'm saying? Because what we put in them, they put in their peers. And so, God, this is how this knowledge grows, God. God, how many of us got children, you know what I'm saying, that done left this nation, God? No, I'm talking about No, I'm just, I'm talking about a different reality. Yes, God, yes, God, and I meant it. But how many of us got children, God, that, that, that went and bonded with a man outside of the nation, God? You know how many horror stories I hear, God? Yeah, God, I got a few of my own. God, and you know why, God? Because you know why? When they look at us, they say, well, you, you know what I'm saying, that counterculture looks super attractive. You know what I'm saying? Little girls grow up, they be wanting to get married. We don't teach that here. But God, if we did have a cultural custom which said that, yo, young earth, not as God, you could start, you know what I'm saying? You know, as, as, as your father, you can start accepting young men, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? God, we, we go outside under the sun, moon, and stars, and, and y'all can get bonded, and it'd be beautiful. Then we have the earth tell us what, what, what they would like to see their young, how they would like their young earth's culture to look, you know what I'm saying? And how they would like the whole thing, you know, to take place. God, it's beautiful. God. Yeah, that good, but That's God, beautiful. I'm here, I'm here in New York, God, right? I know how it is down in North Carolina where you at, though, but every day here. God, I'm born and raised yeah, here. I know that, but what I'm trying to say, every day here, when you know what's going on with the world and shit like that, right? Right? You know, we about to be talking in June, I mean, you know, February, you know, with politics and all that, but in my neighborhoods, in all neighborhoods in New York City, they taking everybody out. Everybody. Uh, they're everybody doing it everywhere. Yeah, you know why they're taking everybody out? You know why they're taking everybody out? You know they taking everybody out? Because we're not in the position of power that we used to be in when we used to give everybody life. God, this God used to have Nubia got so far on lock, G. When, when I was resting in New York, God, we could, God, we was the power with the city, dog. Everything in the city moved through the gods, man. But guess what? At the end of the God, because time bring about a change, and that's why we got to change if we want to continue to exist, God. No, I'm talking not as individuals. I'm talking about as a nation. We got to get better. Exactly. That means self-improvement. That means looking at the ugly side, you know what I'm saying, and changing it from ugly to beautiful. That means applying it, right, because God, listen, man, refinement is God's grace, man. I'm God, man. So the refinement is God's grace, the ability to apply perfection, God, to imperfection, God. So anything that we seen that was weak, that we, we create the mortar and make it strong. Anything that was ugly, God, we create the beauty, God. You understand what I'm saying? So this is what I'm talking about. Because what you said is true. How did we lose the power in our communities? Because we ran New York. New York is the city of the gods. And everybody know it. I don't care if you go to the West Coast. I don't care if you go. They tell everybody. Man, this ain't no gang city. This is the city of the gods. Because this is Mecca, man. This is Allah made this Mecca, man. And New York is the city of the gods. Everybody know it. So how do we bring it back, God? You know how we bring it back? By doing what we're doing now. You see this young lady right here? You know what I'm saying? Drawn to this magnetic God? This is how we did it then. We was on every street corner. We was on every bus. We was in every movie theater. And all they heard was the language of God. People heard mathematics in the air. And they was like, what is that language? God. And that's what I'm talking about. Love is love because love multiplies and people add on when it's love. So all we got to do is show the people once again that God is love and we here and we love you and we here to save you because they want you to have a gang mentality because they don't want you to have a God mentality because they want to keep you in a box and put you in under a lock. But see, my father came to free you. If Mega did this.